Earth has a new neighbor for the next few months. Here to tell us all about it and what it is, where is our science and climate specialist, Darius Madavi? What's with this mini moon, sir? I think the most important thing is, it's just a little guy, Dan. Uh, it's about 11 <laughs> meters in diameter, mm -hmm. which is about the length of a school bus, but you know, more round. Uh, it's an asteroid. It likely came from one of our solar system's secondary asteroid groups. So it's called the Arjuna asteroids. They're this group of near-Earth objects that have an orbit quite similar to Earth's. So astronomers know to keep a close eye on them. And let's just take a look at the path that it's expected to take. You can see here coming in, swooping in, going just between Earth and the moon, mm -hmm. and then flying out again. But keep in mind, Earth and the moon are very, very far apart. Uh, if Earth was the size of a basketball, the moon would be the size of a tennis ball, and they would be uh, about 30 feet apart, so a very big distance between these things. So the asteroid is not going to come, uh, not, not expected to be a huge problem as it sweeps by. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it's gonna come in. It's coming in pretty soon. It's coming, uh, or sorry, it did come in. It joined our orbit in September, just this past Sunday. And it's expected to stick around for about two months, stick around until November. And then on November 25th, we'll all wave it off teary-eyed okay. as it flies away. Naturally. So it is technically an asteroid. Are we in any danger, I have to be cautious about it, coming closer to Earth or hitting us? Fortunately, no. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite small and it's staying fairly far away. Again, this is a big distance. Let's take a look at the orbit again. Uh, but the asteroid was first discovered, as I said, on August, uh, sorry, the asteroid was first discovered on August 7th and then it first entered our orbit in September. Mm -hmm. It was discovered by ATLAS, which is called the uh, Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System probably sounds scary. And you might be wondering why it wasn't picked up by the very early alert system. <laughs> uh, but this is very common. Space is a very big place and asteroids are fairly small, especially ones that we don't really have to be concerned about. And it only took about a week from August 7th to uh, August 18th for scientists to conclude that it was no threat, dropping it from the potential risk list of asteroids into just the, our friend that's coming to visit and swing by list mm -hmm. of asteroids. All right, so beyond the space enthusiasm, uh, you and I here. Can we see it with the naked eye? Uh, no, mm. I'm sorry. Afraid not. Uh, it is very small. The size of a school bus when it's about as uh, when it's as far or further away than the moon is very difficult to pick up. Even if you have, you know, a commercial telescope or uh, a pair of uh, stargazing binoculars, you're not going to be able to see this one. We're waiting for the big observatories to get a glimpse of it and get those pictures and send them down to us here. I know that the idea of having a mini moon sounds great, getting mm -hmm. a photo with the two moons, like in Star Wars with the two suns mm -hmm. in Halloween. Uh, I would love to see that, but unfortunately that is not going to be the case here. But we know that it's there. We know mm -hmm. we have a friend up there in the solar system uh, or in our orbit really. And I have uh, to ask, does it have a name? Uh, yes, it is called 2024 PT5, which is, um, <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Really? <laughs> Darius Madavi, thank you for telling us about 2024 tour PT5. Easy for me to say. <laughs>